All right, so what I'm doing here is bending some, uh, some blitz in. My chopper now started out with a paper template. So only want to have to cut it once. Cut my pieces in a square block. Now, you can cold bend polycarbonate if you have the right tool, like a nice long press and all that stuff. But um, I found that using a heat gun and a couple of pieces of angle iron, and um, all you got to do is heat up the edge. Then soften it up. Now it does take a while. You have to uh, take your time with it. If you heat one spot too long, it's going to bubble. It looks like crap. Once you get it just right, you'll notice how soft it really gets. Using a flat piece of wood. And all you gotta do is hold it steady for a moment. And as soon as it cools off, it will keep its shape. Now when you measure things up and make a mark on a flat piece of paper, your crease is exactly where you're going to have your angle. Now on a thicker piece, if you make your line on the inside or the outside, when you do your bend, uh, you're not going to get that exact same line. Now I took a small scrap, made a line, put it in my thing, heated it up, bent it over and realized that my bend is going to be a quarter inch above the line that I make on the inside. So when I made my mark where I wanted my bend to be, I lifted my piece up a quarter inch. And that's where everything should line up. And there you go. One bent piece of lexan. Now if you stay with the heat gun too long in one spot, the plastic will bubble up. I've got one spot here where um, it turned a little bubbly, but it did milk out. Um, my first bent was done with the plastic covering left on and my second one I took the plastic covering off and it's much better you can tell when the plastic starts to want to bend and you don't get it all caught up that yeah, way better if you take the coverings off so there we go that's one down one to go